How can Amazon sell 13 grips for £45, including the kit to actually put them on? Let's find out, shall we? What is the cheapest set of grips you can buy off the internet? And not only have I found the cheapest deal, as far as I'm aware, but they've provided absolutely everything that you need, require, to take the old grips off of your golf clubs and put the new ones on. On. And someone that's re-gripped a lot of golf clubs in my pro shop time, there's a few key things that I look out for. And some things make the job harder, some things make the job easier. And for someone that's going to be potentially a complete beginner when it comes to re-gripping golf clubs, how easy exactly is it? So before I show you the £45 13 grip essential kit to re-grip your golf clubs, this is what we're going to be re-gripping today. And essentially I didn't have anything that was drastically needed re-gripping, but this is something thing i.e a set of irons and a wood this whole collection here probably isn't worth 45 pounds but it's been handed down to you and you're not quite sure and you know that they work and you quite like the feel so you thought maybe i should get these regripped and to be honest these are exactly what you should be getting regripped i mean they're buckling they're coming off they're falling apart you name it, therefore you're definitely going to have some kind of benefit at having more friction on the grip itself. This one hasn't even got a grip, um, uh, it's something that I bought in a job lot. But as you go through, I mean just look at them, I mean the state of them, they're horrendous. As I said at the start of the video, golf grips cost money and not only that, the labour to put them on, most pro shops are going to charge you probably about £2 a grip if you provide the grip as well. Or they're going to charge it in the grip price, so if it's £10 for a multi-compound, um, if it's £15 for a line grip they would obviously fit them for free but obviously they're making the margin i.e from what they bought the grip for so without further ado let's open this box and i'm very excited to see what we're being given to get these on here as i say we're on the golf course i kind of did this on purpose as if i can put a golf grip on the golf course out here then surely you will be able to do this in your garden garage or in your kitchen Here's my all-in-one pack. Grits, solution, everything else that potentially you're gonna need. Right, everything is unboxed and I've got everything in a row and this can possibly go down. I'm still somewhat skeptical about the quality of the materials and how we're gonna use them because obviously I've tested and tried a lot. But on a glance, I just want to list on the right hand side here what it would cost for you to essentially get the same setup without the grips. There's some people selling just this here, for example, grip tape, Stanley knife, solution, for example, for £15. So we obviously bought this for £45. So already with the vice clamp, grip solution, and I know quantities are somewhat different, but let's be honest, guys, how many times are you going to be re gripping your golf clubs? Once every two years, maybe once every year at a push? And Unless you're building clubs, unless you're tinkering with them, unless you're a pro shop, realistically, this is kind of all you're ever going to need anyway when it comes to re-gripping all your clubs. So this is the first time I've ever seen this, and I have to say, it's ingenious. It's such a good, unique selling point, giving the people the tools that they need so that they don't have to go and spend £10 on this, and they don't have to go and spend £10 on that, and they don't have to go and spend a fiver down at their local B&Q to get a Stanley knife with a hook blade. They don't have to spend £10 on getting grip tape, and then having to spend a lot of money on grips themselves so overall if this goes down and works and we don't have any hitches throughout the whole gripping process i mean it's just outrageous value so to be fair these are going to be the make and break of this whole video whether they work or not but overall looking from the packaging i mean it looks very professional non-toxic non-flammable non-irritating a lot of people use white spirit i've definitely used white spirit in the past that being said there's a lot of grip solutions i've tried in my life that aren't white spirit that are rubbish and they're basically just water which doesn't help putting golf grips on so i'm very excited to put this to the test and if it is good then well this deal's kind of a no-brainer for a first time beginner putting golf grips on a fantastic little touch as well is that they actually send you this little manual um uh, that basically shows you how to put a golf grip on i mean it's very self-explanatory we're basically going to do it now out on the golf course as i said vice is recommended but at the same time you do need a grip tray otherwise it's just going to go everywhere regardless and not many of you got workbenches vices etc so nice little manual shows you how to do it and again nice little bonus right first up to the test is the hook blade i'm very excited to see that's actually got two blades in there one and then also you can take out from the end and switch over a sharp hook blade makes life a lot easier when doing this game older the grip doesn't necessarily make it that easy to get it off because they kind of disintegrate but 
oh this might be these grips are so old when they crumble like that for example you know you're going to be in a bit of a session to try and get this off because it's basically just fused with the golf grip but the hook blade has done its job cut straight through the middle of it let's take it off just look at that just look at the state of that grip. You always get these in pro shops where someone comes in, wants a full set of irons, redone, um, uh, and they haven't changed their grips for like 25 years, and you can just see it decays. Now, that shouldn't happen for any of your clubs that you obviously take off, and honestly, it should take no less than five seconds to take a golf grip off. But when it does that and cracks and crumbles, you know that you're going to be in a bit of a session to take the rest off. So we'll take two more off, but other than that, I think we'll just leave the rest of them. Right, golf grip's gone. Time to put some tape on them. Right, this is going to be the real litmus test. Four clubs, four, three irons, one wood, grip solution, and the tape, and the grips themselves. And essentially, how quickly will it take me to get these all on, and hopefully, successfully as well? Seven and a half minutes. I'll give you the exact time, but roughly it took me two and a bit minutes per club. But I have to say one thing, these two here, pass the test which is kind of what you guys needed to know grip solution tape it's all been thought through from the hook knife to the solution now this isn't going to do multiple clubs it's probably going to do the 13 clubs that are there especially if you're going to save the solution like i did in the little tupperware box but overall for a beginner that's never gripped clubs in their life is kind of a no-brainer even putting them on straightening them up i didn't do too bad considering that i didn't have a vice now they are thin but you could add more layers of tape or you could put potentially um, another tape underneath it but that does require that obviously you need to go to a um, hardware store but overall in terms of friction i don't think anyone would be disappointed with the value for money you've got 15 pounds basically as supplies and then 30 pounds per grip basically under three pounds per club which i think is extremely good value considering what the clubs were like beforehand so guys i will do one quickly in real time for you just so that you have some kind of guide if you were to go down this route um, and anything different that I would normally do. Now, it's kind of measured out for you, so the only advice I'd have in terms of applying the tape to the club is just make sure that you've got about a centimeter and a half over the top there, and then you're just gonna slowly and smoothly wrap it around the golf club until it's pretty much all the way round, and then you're gonna take off this tape, which can be a bit fiddly. As I said, with that line down the back of it, I actually have found, so mind you, this one's coming off a tiny bit better. But I found in the past with the ones that don't have the line. I thought it was genius when they did it, but um, actually it kind of made it a bit more fiddlier. But again, two and a half minutes a club. If a lot of you are just starting and you're doing your first grip within five minutes, you're doing incredibly well, as it did take me a long time to obviously do this. Make sure it's sealed at the top there so that the um, uh, nothing, no debris or no water or anything else like that can get down the grip. Um, I'm going to spray some solution down the grip here obviously trying to contain all of the um, solution in the little container here so that it doesn't get on the floor. And then once that's all applied, we're obviously gonna do exactly the same to the grip. And top tip of the day, which I've definitely um, got caught out over the years, is apply a lot of solution. The main reason that you have a tray or grip tray is that you're gonna catch all the excess anyway. You never want to have hardly any of it in the grip. If you have too little, trust me, you're ruining a grip. Multi-compound, a line grip, whatever it might be, you're slowly gonna pour it down the shaft and then twist the shaft at the same time. So again, all that excess comes out the grip and then also um, down the shaft as well. So everything is covered. And pretty much once you've done that, get most of the drips out of the way, you're gonna be good to go. This is relatively the quicker bit and you have to apply some kind of confidence when you do this as you're not going to have that long to be fair to get the grip down the shaft without the solution drying but then you go work it on the top and once it's over the top again the solution itself and the grip tape i'm so impressed with because it just slides down it so easily you then oh i've got my towel over here wipe it down with a towel and then you're going to straighten it up just to make sure that all the bits of the golf club and the grip are properly aligned boys and girls another grip applied hopefully beating my last pb but regardless of the fact very easy and overall very impressed with the materials used cheap golf clubs with cheap grips but you're going to make mistakes and this is probably the best kit to make those mistakes with especially when you're starting this for the first time
So guys, there you have it. I'm not going to hit them for obvious reasons, but they went on easy, quickly, and affordably, most importantly. If you wouldn't mind like the video, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys there.